Well, thank you for staying with the Monday Report. It's time for some business news now. So the Kenya Aviation Workers Union says that the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport is in dire state, which was exposed over the weekend following the power blackout at the airport that stranded passengers there for more than two hours. The workers are urging the Transport Cabinet Secretary to take more measures to ensure that the airport is well maintained and crack the whip on the management of Kenya Airport Authority, who they say have neglected their duties as caretakers of the airport. On Saturday, CS Murkomen fired KAA boss Alex Gitari and announced the appointment of Henry Ogoe as the acting managing director of KAA. The problem with the KAA has been incompetence, nothing else. Because, and of course, we have practices to, that uh, border on uh, you know, corruption. I'll give you an example. KAA does, is, is not an organization that you would say it is in the red financially. Uh, it is very solid financially. Uh, why wouldn't they service, for example, the X-rays? Why? Why? There's no reason. They have the money. They are busy focused on other things. And they are focused on deal-making. That, I should say 